All right, so I'm going to construct a perpendicular bisector. So basically what happens is you've got a segment and you're going to create um, some circles here in a minute so that you end up creating a line that is going to bisect this segment, so cut it in half, and then also meet at 90 degrees. So first thing that we are going to do here is kind of go over what's going to happen. So the first thing that I want to do is uh, create, so we're going to create circles with the same radius, and this is uh, using a compass. Our compass, um, at least in school, is Looks kind of like this, uh, because then you can't stab anyone. Hey, all right, so moving on. Um, so we're going to use a compass to create circles with the same radius, um, centered at the endpoints of the segment. Um, and of course, those could be, in this case, the vertices of the triangle. All right. Uh, just a note about that. Once we've created those, uh, we want to make sure that the radius needs to be more than half the length of the segment or the side of the triangle. So if it's not uh, more than half the length, then you're actually gonna not get what I like to call the cat eye, and so then you can't create the line. So, so taking a look at this here, I'll just do um, the segment bisector, perpendicular bisector of this guy here. So uh, at each vertex, so that's right here and here, or the endpoints of the segments. I'm gonna create a circle with the center again here, and then the radius, so I'm gonna pick a dot along here. The radius is gonna be more than what I assume to be halfway along. So if I center this here, all right, um, I'm going to pick one of these dots here that definitely is more than half, so I may as well use this one. So as you can see, the radius of that circle is definitely more than half. All right, and then I'm going to create the same one on the other side. I just like to flip my page to make it work better. All right, and of course you could create the entire circle, um, but as you can see, that goes off the page, and so I, there's really no point to that. Um, so I've created what I like to call the cat eye. That's right here. And what you end up doing is note this point here where the circle meets and this point here where the two circles meet. And what you're gonna do is connect them with a ruler. And so if I connect these two lines, or sorry, dots, with a line, I have now created the perpendicular bisector. And it has bisected this piece to be the same as this piece. And it's also perpendicular, so it has met it at 90 degrees. So if we look at what we're doing here for our next step, step two is going to be create the perpendicular bisector. by connecting the two points where the circles intersected. And again, we can call that the cat eye. They're kind of thinking of a cat eye, how it's very in the center. Anyway, uh, so that is what we need to do there. Let's see. Nope. And so again, that 
creates the perpendicular bisector. Uh, the reason that we're creating this perpendicular bisector is most likely um, in chapter five when we have to then keep uh, make all of the perpendicular bisectors for every side, so for this side and then also for this side, and the fact that those then meet at a certain point and uh, create a circle that would surround this with a center, turns out right here. So that's your perpendicular bisector construction. Two circles at each endpoint, make the cat eye, connect them.